I always got to look at the clock these days. <laughs> yeah, good afternoon from Yami B TV. All right, you've been waiting patiently. Terry Adams, all right? Never saw a lot of him. I only spent a couple of occasions with him. Uh, but I'll give you my opinion and my, my final verdict of what Uncle Yami was taken in by who was the greatest gangster of all time in England, if you get what I mean. If we're talking about London, especially uh, as crime families, there's been loads over the years. Uh, but I look at the profile, I look at the look, I look at the way you carry yourself, I look at the charisma, I look at when to answer, when not to answer. I know that what you mean when you mean things, and that's how it started. Remember how it started. We're walking round, we're on Sea Wing, and Roger Vincent is walking round, me and Rog always side by side. Boom, 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 boom. I get paid, I'm round, I've got to be there. Uh, I'm, I've got your back every day, no matter what, right? So, Terry turns up, tall tell, right? Athletic, still fit for his age, still looks the part. When, you, when I first set eyes on him, right, I thought he looked like everything the paper said. I've got to be honest, I thought he looked like a gangster. I thought he looked hard with decent looks. I thought that he looked the part. I thought that he come across as the part. Uh, the immediate reaction from me uh, to how he comes across when he first meets you. And Roger said to him, listen, tell, this is my mate Yami. Uh, I hope one day you can take him on outside. I thought, yes, I could be involved in a bit of crime out here. I could join up with one of the greatest crime families that ever lived. The ones that are most talked about. Talk about Patsy, about this and that happened and Terry and that happened and this happened and that happened. I'm gonna tell you now about some of the conversations that took place and how they were answered. I'll tell you, give, give you the first joke. So, all right, he liked me. You remember the flutter, the gambling? Yummy, you ready today? Superstars, powerlifting. You're going to win today? No, tell. You're going to win today, Yummy? Yes, win full. All right, I'm betting on you because I know when you tell me that, that means that I am going to, I am going to believe in you. That's him. He likes me. But yet, when it came to me expecting to be involved in, because that's what I was into at the time. Uh, yeah, 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 Till, can I ever do I, I, He said to me, no, 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 Yami, you've got, you, you've got this thing a bit wrong. I don't see you like that. I see you as a social person. I see you on a business level. I see you at the front door engaging with people. I see you talking to people and bringing people in and blah, blah, blah. So hurt, because I thought they were talking about me. <laughs> it's not like that. He ain't like that. Remember this. When Kenny Noy, Terry Adams, when you talk about all the names, when they go to jail, they don't talk. You can't come and ask them questions about certain things. They know they're being bugged every day. They know that the police are on them every single day and night because they need something because they want, so you, they haven't got enough. They, they've heard so much but yet you've never had enough to get them away for the rest of their lives. Uh, so what, what do we do? What do we draw from that? Ask yourself that. You see what I mean? Ask yourself that. So they're going to have the arm. Um, they're going to come up, yeah, bug him. We'll listen. We'll see what's being said. All right. We'll get Terry on a little tax invasion. They even talks about the geezer that had the art gallery. We're selling all false stuff. He done a, uh, a, what would you call it? A 93 million pound fraud thing where... I don't know if it's fraud, sorry. When he, where he said, like, oh, this went missing and that went missing, and they reckon, yeah, Terry got a piece of it. <laughs> so, so you know and I know that Terry, all you've got to do is go tell, can you come here with me? Straight people. Terry can make a living by making appearances. Have the truth. Johnny Mac... Johnny Mac... Johnny M walked into the kitchen one day and he said, oh, yeah, the case in Patsy's going on. Uh, with the alleged whatever, yeah, some people agree, some people don't. He says he's not, I, I'm, it's not for me to say, I'm not here, that's not what I'm talking about today. 
Uh, but Patsy got convic convicted, got a nine or whatever with his missus uh, for an alleged hit. And you got Johnny Mac walking into the kitchen and he's saying to him, <laughs> he's saying, yeah, yeah, I've just heard that bang he's banged to rights, old Patsy tell. Uh, he's at the traffic lights with a thing with a blah, blah, blah. And Terry looked at him and said, said, what, you just heard that? And he went, yeah, 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 it's on the news like that there. And he goes, what do you think about that? And Johnny Mac went, well, well, I'm just saying to you, I'm just letting you know. And Terry said to him, that's what I mean. That's what you hear. That's what they say. It doesn't mean that's how it was. You see what I mean? So that makes him look stupid. But yet, when you meet those figures that have big hierarchy names that have been carried for years and years and years, you call them in, you want to get involved in some kind of conversation with them, right? I never went looking for him. Roger introduced me to him. But I'm saying loads of people, yeah, you're right, Terry, oh, everything all right. They, but you think Terry, Terry's not going to go, yeah, 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 all right, mate. He's going to go, hello, mate, you all right, sweet? Don't mean he's going to say hello to you every day. You ain't going to come and have a cup of tea in his cell and he's going to say, yeah, yeah, what happened on that day and what happened on this day? It's not going to take place, is it? If you ask me, who do I think comes across as the perfect role model for doing it, because you remember Terry's a businessman, he's not and he really get involved in all that shit, he's not, that's what, that's what they say, but that's not really how it is, you see what I mean? He's a very man of few words, so when you think you're going in there to get into him, to go and have a talk because you don't know who's going in from prison, you've got to remember that, because in prison there's all sorts, for all you know the police could put someone in there going and go, go and try and see if you can get into him and get something out of him. So you honestly think Terry's going to be going there going, yeah, all right, then I'll have a word with you and tell you about a few things, eh? A few things that have gone on along the past. I remember him telling you, Andy Shacks. You said to him, yeah, yeah, do you want to do some business? I've got some business going with some, some drugs and da 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 da, -da. Look, Terry looked him in the eye and said to him, no, nah, I don't involve in drugs, mate. It's not my kind of thing. I don't need no money. It's all right, sweet. You know? See? You see what I mean? Andy Shaq's big name, you want to walk in there. But then when, when the lot of you talk about, yeah, but yeah, he ain't all that though. Yeah, 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 but he's just, he, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you want to put yourself up there because your name ain't getting called as much as theirs. You see what I mean? But I got to say, what I saw is I got to say that I think that if I was going to give the mantle, doesn't mean I'm right. It just means that Uncle Yami's outlook, a fake outlook, if you like, of a criminal, gangster, fit the criteria, answers all the questions properly. Uh, when you say certain things, you make you look stupid. Yeah, they said that. Yeah, I heard they said that tell. Yeah, did they? That's what they said, did they? They heard. Didn't see, did they? No, nah, thought so. So what I mean, think about it. So you're not going to go in there. The, Kenny Nor used to go like, hey, he's put his hands in his pockets. He'd go, yeah, and what about that, this, and that, 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 and that, and that. You asked me, not, you talk, you asked me twice now, Kenny. i will give you the same answer. But I know what you mean. I know you're thinking that I'm thinking, but I'm not thinking that. I'm not thinking that everybody that got involved in the Brink Smack got shot because of you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't matter to me. You was good to me, your proper stuff, as far as I'm concerned. You know what I mean? But if I was going to put someone up there, on this couple of occasions I met Terry, I would have to say that he fits the profile. And I have to fit that he has, he's got the brain. And I have to fit that he's weary and he knows. He knows and when you know, you know. That's all that matters to me. Uh, I can remember another occasion, another name. They all talk about, yeah, you wanted to make a name for yourself. Uh, Terry's an old man. Not old man. He don't look like it. He looks the part. He's athletic. Uh, but, you know, you try to come across a bit funny. Uh, but he just looks at you and he says, yeah, but when you're ready, swing. When you're ready, swing on the yard. You know? Uh, just remember that you never swung. You ain't got the ball to swing. Because uh, you ain't got that kind of artillery. You haven't got that 
whatever it takes behind the scenes uh, to whatever happens next. You haven't got that or allegedly got that. You see what I mean? So my character references on him when he went to the party, I love to love Tina Charles, Yvonne Elliman. You know, that when we were doing the discos kind of stuff, he was shaking a leg. That's all I can say. You know, he didn't take nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, can you know a different character, Terry? Terry, Terry, Terry is a different, 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 different kind of man. Uh, you'll see what I mean one day. Uh, but every, every one time comes, every one time comes, whatever way you've lived is the way that it ends for you the same way. You see what I mean? And you'll go down as what in folklore and history and whatnot, whatnot, but it's all hearsay. Because all you ever got on him was tax fraud and you got a recall out of some bollocks. And you got Patsy at the traffic lights. It's meant to be somebody that done something. That, but what else? Tell me. They talk about, they, they, I'm not going to say nothing anyway. Uh, but that's my my thing. I'll give you my verdict on that. And I think that the, the one that touched me the most when I first met them uh, as a number one in the way that the life went. I have to say that uh, T.A. had the most out of them all. That's me. It doesn't mean I'm saying he's the best fighter, he's the artist or whatever, but I know the way he carried himself because he knew the truth. And Uncle Yummy was good at knowing that. So that's my verdict on that. Uh, I hope you like it. There might be a part two. I've got to see what can be said first. <laughs> all right? I'll be up after with the KF, with the UFC fires. Some of you don't really all know that I don't, you, what, sorry. Some of you don't know that Kim Farrier, Jim, what's his name from Croydon, Fortin, Ethan, Lee, thing, they were all with Uncle Yammy when they were 15, 16. Uh, and went on and used to take me, and I said, they'd go say, drive me, drive me there and give them half. None of you knew that, but they were with me in the early days on the Young Books. Uncle Yammy's going to come with that soon. Any more requests for any names, remind me, I'll let you know. I love you all.